So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at something called an insertion sort. And as I said before, it's pretty much one of the most simple forms of sorting information that we know of. So what we essentially do, just to write down what we're doing here, so this is the insertion sort. You can probably get a good idea of how this is going to work just by the name. But let's assume that we have this list of information, 97, negative 3, 5, and 16. And maybe it's stored in an array or maybe it's stored in a linked list. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that we have unsorted information, and our goal is to get it to be sorted in, let's say, ascending order, smallest to biggest. So essentially the way an insertion sort works is it treats our, can, our collection of information as completely unsorted, except for the first element. And the reason being is because the most basic form of a sorted list is an element of, or is a list of one element. So for example, if we have this nice array that se separates each element, we can assume that the first element is automatically sorted. There's only one element there. Our goal is now is to go through all of the unsorted elements. So let's say the left side of the list is sorted, and the right side of the list is unsorted. Essentially the way it's going to work is we're going to look at each element of the unsorted list and place it in the appropriate place in the sorted list. So let's look at the negative three. So on step one of this check, it's gonna say, hey, is negative three greater than or less than 97? Well, it's less than. So what we have to do is we have to shift 97 over because negative three needs to be on the left-hand side of 97. So that means after this step, essentially what we're looking at now is we'd have 97 gets shift o shifted over one spot, and then negative 3 would get bumped over to the left of 97. And this is our sorted section. Our unsorted section still has 5 and 16. Sorry, it's 6. So we have 5 and 16, which is still unsorted. So now we got to go to the next value in the unsorted list, which is the 5. So 5 starts comparing itself to each element on the left-hand side, or each element in the unsorted list, starting at the right-hand side. So it says, all right, is 5 less than or greater than 97? Well, it's less than 97. So again, 97 is going to get shifted to the right. So at this point, what we see is we see negative 3, and then we have kind of 5 held up over in this temporary over here for now and then we have 97 97 just got copied over and then 16 this is kind of like our placeholder because 97 just got copied over and then 5 is going to check itself against negative 3 it's going to say well is 5 greater than or less than negative 3 well it's greater than negative 3 so that means that it must be inserted to the right of that element so it's going to get inserted right there. So what's going to look like after step two is negative 3, 5, 97, 16. And now we have three elements that are sorted and only one unsorted. So now we go over to the next and now the last element in the unsorted list and we go over and we compare it against each item on the right hand side again. We say, well, is 16 greater than 97? No, is it less than? It must be. So in that case, the 97 gets shifted over to the right again because 16 needs to go to the left of it. So we have something that looks like this. Again, now we have 16 in the placeholder, the temporary data. We have negative three, we have five, we have 97, and we have 97. So we're looking at this information right here. And again, so since it, we just compared it against element uh, 2, 0, 1, 2, element 2 of the array, we say, well, let's check it against the next one. Is 16 greater than 5? Yes, it is. So that means that it needs to get copied to the right of the 5. So we end up with, on step 3, negative 3, 5, 16, 97. And now the entire list is sorted. 
So just to summarize, essentially what we do is we start out, we have a complete list of information. The first element is considered in the sorted section. All the other elements on the right hand side are in the unsorted section. We go through each element one at a time in the unsorted section and compare it from right to left of the sorted section. Every time that we see that the value is less than the, less than the next element of the sorted section, we shift that sorted element to the right, essentially extending the size of the sorted array. And we keep doing this until we find a spot that's either at the end of the list or we find an element that is less than the element that we're trying to insert, in which case we would insert it to the right of that element. So that is an insertion sort.